Hello, I'm David O'Loughlin, the Mayor of the City of Prospect, and welcome to the July Council Meeting Summary. You can find the full version of the Council Meeting on our YouTube link in about two or three days' time, but here is a summary of what we've decided to do tonight. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we dealt with a couple of deputations around our proposed heritage listing, uh, which will significantly increase the number of heritage protected properties in the local register and the number of heritage zones in prospect uh, if it gets up at council in the next month and then the minister supports it. They are obviously steps still to come. Tonight the deputies are raising matters of concern to them and as a consequence our council did modify its recommendation uh, to the staff to bring back to council at the following meeting to take three properties out of the list uh, which the previous consultant had recommended uh, should be out of the list. So uh, that's a, a change from the previous position, but now that's what will come back to Council, hopefully at our August meeting. So if you're interested in the heritage listing process, please come to the August meeting or keep an eye on the agenda. Uh, tonight we also had the information report and the capital works reports and operating project reports for the last quarter of the year and delighted to see so much activity in the information report. If you want a really great summary of what Council has been up to in the last quarter, then that is a fantastic report to get hold of. You'll see examples of everything happening from the digital hub, the number of people going through for training, uh, through to the bus shelter project, the, uh, the waiting room project, fantastic work done there by Hark, a local artist, and also uh, the number of local businesses that we're assisting in getting on board with the NBN and getting connected to fibre. And I'm really pleased to say that this week marked the last switch on date for the last FSAM and, and prospects. So now every street in our city has fiber optics running up and down it. And please, if you haven't yet connected to the NBN, please do so, so that we'll be the first and perhaps the only city connected fiber to the premises in the whole of the state, which is a tremendous advantage to our local economy and to you at home, if that's where you're watching right now. Um, of course, there are other matters on the agenda tonight, and uh, they dealt with the community services uh, plan. We have some tremendous survey results back regarding the consultation we ran on that. Next workshop, 4th of August, we're going to have the results of our McGregor Tan survey. Thank you for those of you who participated in either survey. It provides a fantastic foundation for our decision making and our strategic planning going forward. Other items we've dealt with tonight, we're filling a vacancy on our development assessment panel, which is deferred to the next meeting, a nomination of an independent member proxy for our uh, IMDAC meeting, which is when larger projects get sent into the state DAC, and a couple other matters regarding investments and our borrowings position. So if those issues interest you, please have a look at the agenda and watch the full meeting for the resolutions that were carried out. Look forward to catching up with you again soon. If not here at Council, then perhaps at the footy where North Adelaide may finally make the quest to win another game this season. That's all from me for now. Thanks for watching.